Congrats! The home inspection looks promising and the buyer's loan officer is ready to order the appraisal of your property. Stay with me until the end of this video and we will learn about the scenarios that may arise regarding appraisal value and all your options. A licensed appraiser will let the buyers know the specific value of your home to secure a loan within 15 to 21 days after fully executed contract. Based on the appraisal value, we can have the following scenarios. On the left column, we have the purchase price. The second one shows the possible appraisal values and the last one shows your options regarding set values. If the appraisal value comes at $400,000, you can move forward with the purchase. The same will happen if the appraisal value comes higher than the purchase price. Should the appraised value come lower than the purchase price, we will have to negotiate the difference between the appraisal value and the purchase price and your options are as follows. 1. If the purchase price is $400,000 and the appraised value is $390,000, then the seller may opt to reduce the sales price to the appraised value. This means a final purchase price of $390,000. 2. Buyer and seller split the difference of $10,000, the seller loses $5,000 and the buyer brings extra $5,000 at closing. The new purchase price will be $395,000. 3. The buyer pays the difference between the appraisal value and purchase price. In this specific case, the buyer will bring extra $10,000 at closing because the mortgage company will only provide a loan based on a value of $390,000. The final sales price will be $400,000. Finally, if there is no agreement of the mines, the transaction will be canceled and the earnest money deposit will be refunded to the buyers. If the buyers agree with the appraisal value, the loan officer will continue gathering updated financial statements from the buyers to submit for final approval. I will be happy to talk about the financing contingency in my next video. See you soon.